Thank you for choosing the Cane Creek Angle Set. This video is a follow-up to our Angle Set installation video to address the key elements of installation. The Angle Set is not your regular headset and requires a precise install. It is important that you read the instructions and follow these procedures. We also have a headset installation video which covers installing cups, crown races, etc. if you need to reference those initial steps. Let's get started. You're going to need both hands to perform these steps, so we recommend firmly clamping your bike in a work stand. Remove the front wheel. And if you have a dual crown fork, remove the fork legs. You need to ensure the alignment of the offset cup with the axis of the frame in either the steeper or slacker orientation. Refer to figure 3B on your Cane Creek angle set instruction sheet. Make sure and align the offset cups with the axis of the frame in either the steeper or slacker orientation. This bike is set up to be one degree steeper than stock. Make sure the cups are clean and that your star nut is correctly aligned with the axis of the steerer tube. If your star nut is crooked, you won't achieve a proper setup and preload. Apply a light coating of high quality grease to the cups on the surface where the gimbals contact the cups. Preassemble the upper gimbal with the upper bearing and the compression ring. Next, place the lower headset bearing on the crown race and then slide the lower gimbal into the lower bearing. Make sure these parts mate squarely with each other. The gap between the gimbal and the fork crown should be a uniform thickness all the way around the gimbal. If your fork is a dual crown design, we recommend that you separate the fork legs from the upper triple clamp and lower crown and steerer tube assembly. Having a lightweight, easily maneuverable assembly will facilitate precision alignment. Grasp the fork assembly by the crown, or the lower crown assembly for dual crown forks, and use your fingers to stabilize the lower gimbal assembly. Pulling down slightly on the lower gimbal assembly will help to center the bearing on the crown race during installation. Always ensure that the lower gimbal assembly is square with the steerer tube. Slide the steerer tube through your bike's head tube but do not allow the lower gimbal assembly to contact the lower cup yet. Slide the upper gimbal assembly onto the upper steerer tube, but don't allow the upper gimbal assembly to contact the upper cup yet either. When stabilizing the lower gimbal assembly with your fingers, and while compressing the upper gimbal assembly with your other hand, slide the fork into the frame until the lower gimbal just touches the lower cup. Without applying pressure to the lower gimbal cup interface, Slide the upper gimbal down the steerer until it just touches the upper cup. The goal is to have each gimbal seat into their respective cups at the same time. While still holding the assembly, visually ensure that the gimbals are concentric with the steerer tube and parallel to each other. Inspect the alignment from the front and from the side of the bike. This is the step that separates a good install from a bad one. If the gimbals need to be moved slightly to achieve alignment, use finger pressure or a small flathead screwdriver to properly orient them. Once you're satisfied that everything is properly aligned, firmly press the assembly together to initially seat the gimbals. Once seated, the gimbals will not move easily, so getting them right before applying pressure is critical. Maintain pressure on the bottom of the fork crown to hold it in place while assembling the top cover, spacers, and stem, or the upper triple clamp for dual crown forks. The goal is to install these components without disturbing the alignment of the gimbals. If any component of this assembly is tight, extra care will have to be taken that the gimbals are not misaligned while installing the tight-fitting component. Tighten the headset preload bolt to 30 inch-pounds. Then, Tighten the stem bolts or triple clamp bolts to their recommended specification. This is a proven method of proper angle set installation. If you're having any problems with any of the steps described in this video, please give us a call today.